What is going on, Coaster Spotters? Today, we're at DreamWorks Water Park. Very anticipated to come here. We've been wanting to come to this water park for a very long time. We're very excited to check everything out. The water coaster looks amazing. The theming looks amazing. Donkey on a Waffle is amazing. Uh, yeah, the theming looks top notch and we're really excited to try it out. Are you, how excited are you? I can't wait. I mean, excited. seriously, it it's gonna be amazing. Um, we got to uh, give a big thanks out to uh, DreamWorks Water Park and American Dream for uh, providing us with tickets and a uh, Skybox Suites. So we'll show you that. Um, very thankful to them, and I just wanted to let you know, just to be transparent, uh, that they're not uh, seeing this beforehand. Uh, I'm not being paid to make this video, but uh, they did provide tickets. What do you think? Cool, I like it, I'm excited. Oh my God. All right, here's a quick look at the uh, cabana. We'll kind of give you some updates from it today, and we'll do a full tour of all the conveniences and everything. Uh, hello there. I have to look funny for the vlog. Oh, yeah, I know. And uh, here's that view from our Skybox suite. I mean, this is amazing. Like, I I've seen this place from the window, but I didn't realize before the scale of this room. I, I have opinions on it already, and we'll talk about them later. But we want to get out there and get some stuff done because this looks amazing. I'm overwhelmed. That doesn't happen very often. Oh my God, oh, yes, yes. You're already taking advantage of the complimentary drinks. And uh, we, let's just go, let's go. Let's get in here, right? Wow. This, I, I feel like this is the biggest room I've ever been in. This is ridiculous, Ariel. Uh, look, it's Shrek. I love that guy. How are you doing? How's your swamp doing? Good? Where's the hooky? Oh. He's at the swamp. Okay, he's making waffles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Shrek butt. That's, that's, we haven't written anything, that's the first thing you see. You just went in the wave pool. That's huge! I, I already like, I like that it doesn't have the diamond pattern. Yeah. It's just one wave across. I know. I think people, they go into the diamond pla uh, pa pattern because it's not as, uh, it's not as intense. But we did go on the water coaster twice. T Toothless, oh God. Toothless's trickling torpedo. That's a, that's a mouthful. Uh, it's really good, right? Yes. Way better than Volcano Bay. Oh yeah. This like little like 30 degree bend. You don't have a time to like, it's just like turn and you're still like going like this and you right down it. Amazing. Nice little pops on every single hill. Uh, fantastic, really. Um, there's a park in the middle of nowhere, Indiana that has uh, a water coaster that's probably a little bit better, but probably my second favorite. Really? I can't. Uh, oh. Maybe Soaky Mountain, because that one has so many yeah, variances, like that, yeah. but like this one's up there. Yeah. As far as the indoor water parks, Best one, best one, easily. So, uh, yeah, if you didn't know, we're big fans of Volcano Bay, Universal, down in Orlando. So you're gonna hear a lot of comparisons to that place because it's on the scope and scale and it's a universal property here, DreamWorks anyways, which is kind of funny. So uh, we're gonna go do the family raft rides because they look freaking amazing. And these two kid areas look awesome for what they are, aren't they? Yeah, I love this thing, how vertical it is, the, uh, the Kung Fu Panda. Awesome. And then the, the Penguins Frozen Fun Zone. These are so cool. I love, I love how with the um, water coaster, you go through the, uh, the uh, iceberg. That's so cool. They got them, like, the Penguins dropping in some ice and... Oh my god. That one looks really good. Yeah, and more Shrek-themed stuff. Like, wow. Yeah, I'm really excited to go ride some Shrek-themed water raft rides. So there's three of them over here. We gotta go do them. Oh my God. We have Shrek's Sinkhole, Slammer, Dragon and Donkey's Flight, and Swamp and Splash. I love the names. All right, so we just did all three of the family raft rides. Uh, you have to have two people minimum, but uh, Universal has some really weird rules with some of them. On one of them, don't we have to like have other people with us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's great that they're all uniform. Uh, the theming here, amazing. Um, 
Uh, that one's my favorite, pink one, because of the theming. Yeah, the theming is really great. You, it's a toilet bowl, but not really. It's more of like a helix. You only go around once. I don't think there's any chance that you would ever go around more than one time. Uh, but like Shrek is sitting up on his throne, looking down at his swamp. It is so good. Uh, you know, if you want to know more about the details of the names and everything like that, we we'll have a full tour video about it all. I mean, yeah. And then the other two are uh, a giant funnel and then a uh, mini funnels, which are really cool because two, one of the mini funnels outdoors. And like, you think it's kind of humid and hot in here. No, you go outside with that sun beating down on it. You feel it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, and it's all transparent in there too, where it's a lot more uh, not transparent here, it feels like. Uh, really cool. Uh, thumbs up on all three of these, right? Yep. Yeah, good choices. And this exit here is so awesome. I love it. I love it. We actually checked out the kids area a little bit just to let you know what we think about it. Really like it. And oh, look, there's a little mini bucket. That's so cute. Uh, yeah, fun little slides. Lots to do, lots of interactions. Uh, you could spend a lot of time in this thing. I, I, I definitely like it. It's very vertical. Uh, I love the theming. I would not want to leave if I was a kid. Oh, God, no. No, no. And then, you know, got that over there too. So it's great. We got to check out this lazy river. And we got so much to do. Oh my God, it's so great. What'd you think? Smooth. Smooth? Looks fun. Yeah, I feel like I flew out really close compared to the other one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You kind of plopped down to. <laughs> yeah, everyone was. The guy before you created a huge slash, so let's see what I do. All right. I'm gonna go try it out. That was a uh, penguin's pullman, right? So. Okay, cool. And I, I know what the uh, uh, the mad flush is. I'm ready for that. Oh yeah, those are sweet. So sweet. It's so sweet. How sweet it is. All right, so we need two uh, ones where you need to know how to swim very well. You know, you drop into two. Uh, but uh, that's like eight feet, ten feet, whatever. And you come out backwards, like I. I went, I did a head first down this thing. Like, I didn't need to, but I, I poured my body to it. I'm like, I'm going to do that. But then I put my hands up because, like, I don't want to hit my head. It was, it, was, it was not far before hitting the bottom. Anyways, uh, great. I love the toilet bowls where it's just the body size. It's my favorite slide ever, pretty much. Uh, I'm wearing a water shirt, and it slowed me down a lot, I think. So we have to, uh, have to get that off and uh, see how many rounds we do. I only did, like, two. How about you? I only, like, two. Oh, maybe, I, know, I can't get slack. Maybe it's a little low. Maybe it's a little bit of a slower one. But regardless, I love these, and I'm so glad I had it. We went to Kalahari in Texas. Unfortunately, due to some unforeseen circumstances before we went there, it was not open. So. I want to do that one. That one looks really fun, that body slide. Oh, wow, yeah. All right, it is very confusing with all these slides because there's, like, 12 slides on this whole complex. So, like, uh... We're going to do our best to uh, show you how to get around this place in the tour. It's a maze. I will say, and I think I've heard this um, complaint before. Like, I know it kind of ruins the scene a bit, but they, I wish they would do what Kalahari does and just have like, the diagrams of what you're riding right here so you, you understand what it is. Because, I mean, you can ride, you can read the, uh, the description and that kind of tells you what it is, but, you know, pictures are fun. Yeah. I, I will say, like, Volcano Bay gets a little bit of a wrap because, like, they didn't really complete the back of the volcano, right? Yeah. But, like, this looks good from the outside, but from the inside... What would you do to make it better, though? Like, I, don't, I don't know. It looks fine, I think. I know somebody probably would complain about it, so I'm just addressing it. I think it's fine the way it looks, but... So we just did the two um, body slides, and they were fun. Nothing too crazy, but they were fun. Uh, probably not going to do them again. And now we're going to go do three uh, tube slides. So uh, let's do it. You excited?
Wow, the view from up here of the skyline. Dang, that's awesome. And now we're above the uh, plane. This is crazy. We are so high up. Oh, there's, look, there's the other half of the fuselage. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. That's so cool. Wow. So Ariel went back to the uh, suite. She felt a little bit of a rest. There she is, hanging out right there. But, uh, oh wow, there's the back of it. That's so cool. Hey, Ariel took a little bit of break over here. Ariel, do you enjoy the uh, 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 advantage of using this? Oh my God, I love just sitting out here and watching. And I kept on waving to occasionally. Sometimes you'd be like looking straight at me and be like, uh, yeah, and then eventually you, that's what got me. So yeah, I went ahead and did the rest of the slides that we hadn't done before. Uh, the two uh, tube slides that they have, that orange and uh, that yellow and white one, uh, pretty basic tube slide. And then the green one that's on the same complex is it's, it's a constrictor slide, but pretty fun. Uh, and then all the other drop pod slides, the straight down ones, the, the twisted one and all that stuff, they're all very smooth, very fast. That drop pod is amazing. I like it more than Krakatoa at uh, Universal. It's, it's definitely smoother. Um, you haven't been on it yet. Krakatau, Krakatau. Oh, I might have gotten that wrong. The drop pod at Universal. I like it a little bit more. Uh, maybe the, the, the just the volcano is cooler, I think. But uh, it is. So, look how tall that thing is. Oh my God, it is up there. It's ridiculous, and you have such a great view as we saw the New York City skyline from up there. So we're gonna actually get some food right now. We can mobile order right now. Uh, it's kind of limited. You can see the options. You order it on the internet, and then you have to call to have it uh, delivered to the uh, skybox. So we're gonna do that. So I mean, it's pretty major, decent items. So how are we talking about? Same prices. I don't fully understand how this works. All right, so basically you're just going to Taco Bell's website and you're ordering. I, I feel like that could be a little bit like, here we go. I feel like that could be a little bit better, but like maybe that'll improve, especially right now. Things are kind of finally transitioning out of the pandemic, so maybe they have plans for other things so we don't know. But regardless, it's nice that they're going to bring stuff from outside of the water park into the water park for us. And we're going to go try a pizza because it looks pretty good, actually, for only $14. For, uh, looks like an eight or nine inch. It's getting pretty busy though, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I don't think the line's all that bad. No, no, a lot. This, whole, this is like, I, this has to be the biggest wave pool I've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. This thing is massive. And you can see with the high sides that, yeah, they definitely do surfing lessons in that. We knew that already, but like, yeah, you can see that they can really crank these waves up for uh, surfing and whatnot. That would be super fun. All right, so I went to get the cheese pizza, which is just right over there, that round building over there that has a deck over it. I've been gone for like literally about two minutes. I, that is the fastest service I ever did. And it's only, it's like two, two o'clock, so it's kind of an odd hour, but Ariel's gonna be very, very uh, confused, I think. Let's uh, ring the doorbell. Would you like a pizza? Yes. After like, how long gone? I was gone for like two minutes. Okay, so the experience about. It was hard to hear what you were saying to me. Okay. And I just want my name. And the phone, I didn't answer right away, so I had to call back. I feel like this first uh, deluxe suite, I feel like all the sound from that speaker set up right there is just like funneling into us. It's like the loudest area in the entire park, unfortunately. Here's our $14 pizza. I, I'd say it's a pretty good price. Really? Honestly? I, mean, yeah. I don't think that's too bad. Like, like it, some other stuff, like the sandwiches for like 12 bucks. I think that's a little much, but I think this is perfectly fine. It looks yummy. The other ones look a little better ones. It's a little over but um, let's give it a try. And uh, I mean, I, it, I guess it'll be kind of cool if they brought it to you, but like it literally, the food court is so close. It literally took like five seconds. What, are you Instagramming? Are you gramming? Check out uh, the coaster spot on uh, Instagram. And well, hello. 20 minutes after they said it would come. see Taco Bell, but that worked really well, right? It was a little confusing, but it worked well, right?
I think we just went through Shrek's swamp. It's very bubbly. That's why it's called the bubbly river. I feel like Shrek's farting underneath us. It's called the bubbly river. Yeah, Shrek is farting underneath us. <laughs> you could not look more uh, mad right now. It's amazing. There's like literally weather patterns going on in this building. It's so big, isn't it? Yeah. It's my first time into it, finally. You were in it earlier. I'm excited because I've been staring this all day and it is, as I said, this thing is huge! What do you think? You just did the world's tall. What? I don't like to make down one. They put my butt. But that one wasn't too bad though. No, I saw like the water. It's fine on my back. Okay. I thought it was pretty smooth. I just sat on it and I got you. I got you. You're like a little blop, but uh, yeah. So uh, that's actually kind of coming to the end of the day, really. So what is this? Oh, King Julian's pineapple jam. I want to come back for this. This one at bar. You're wondering what this is. It looks like up there there's also like somewhere they can maybe do DJing. Uh, for maybe like, I don't know, but this is what we've been looking at all day. Yeah. yeah. We've been here six hours and we've had an amazing day. Uh, I I might have said some things before in the past about this place. Uh, being kind of expensive and maybe not worth it. Uh, I take it all back. As you know, we did not pay for this. I want to be transparent about that. But I can tell you right now, if we didn't have the opportunity to be invited back again, we would pay to come back here, no doubt. And probably not too far in the future, maybe a year or two. Yeah. Yeah, maybe every other year thing, because it is still expensive. So I don't feel like we'd need to come every year. But a weekday. Yeah, so weekday, definitely uh, come early. Uh, the first few hours were, if we had it all to ourselves, so then it got pretty busy, but at the same time, like, the longest wait is like 10, 15 minutes. That is nothing compared to what you're going to see at the uh, major water parks throughout the area today. So it's really not that bad. Uh, I love the place. Great theming uh, all throughout. Uh, favorite indoor water park? My favorite indoor water park, easily. I think my number two water park at the Volcano Bay. Uh, but uh, I like the the Okay. I mean, it's a very good one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I think uh, for me, I'm not definite on that, but I, I'm, I'm leaning towards it. So uh, I definitely, if you like water parks, uh, they don't have anything unique. No slide here that's never been done before. But they're some of the best of what they do. The one interesting thing I saw was only one slide. Outside. Two, but yes. <laughs> uh, two of the family restaurants go outside, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just enough to give you that little bit of a the, coming down 95, getting that, uh, yeah, you know, it's yeah. It's not like a huge outside when you see everything. But you see the giant building, and you can see this slide complex from coming south down 95. True. Yeah. yeah. Um, as I said, I said some things, I take them back, and I love this place. And uh, you want to come back. Yeah. I'm going to do a review on this in the near future, I promise, and uh, because I have, I want to get my thoughts together, so look out for that. Uh, this has been Alex and Ariel for the Coastal Spot. Thanks for watching, and look out for more American Dream content coming very soon. Uh, you definitely want to subscribe.